Hello there, I'm Jim Brown, and uh, I have a story to tell you about the niftiest little boat I've seen in a long time. This is the new Sea Clipper 16, designed by John Marples, and it's on the Sea Clipper theme, of which uh, we have a, a series of designs, including a 20-footer, and the original 20-footer had the same basic configuration as this 16-footer, and that boat's been very successful for carrying uh, day sails and for beach camping and even camping aboard. And it turns out that the 16-footer has the same capabilities. We'll walk you around and show you how. One thing we learned from the 20-footer is that it goes well to windward without the dagger board until the waves get bigger or, or the wind becomes very strong. So it allows the sailor to sneak over thin water with the, the dagger board retracted. And we think the reason is because of this very deep forefoot on the main hull and the shape of the outrigger. The, the conformation is straight and flat down deep and then flat across the bottom so that uh, the boat has uh, a bottom configuration that lends itself to beaching and uh, dragging over rollers and so on. The, uh, the idea is to improve the beach camping possibilities of the boat to the maximum in a boat that the owner builder, amateur builder, can produce with his own hands. The confirmation of the outrigger hull, the AMA, is also very simple to produce, like that of the main hull, but the flat in the bottom is angled slightly so as to allow the float to come down onto the water without pounding. And it also increases this angle at the outboard chine on the float so that the chine really digs in and hangs on. When the float is depressed with the water line up here someplace, this shape is down deep in the water and again contributes to the boat's ability to go to windward very well even in shallow water with the dagger board retracted. Very important for beach camping. This is a boat that I think is really destined to become popular is this swing wing cross beam system that we've developed. It has the ability to allow the vessel to have plenty of beam while sailing. The extreme beam of the boat is wide enough to really drive the boat hard, but when folded, she fits easily onto a trailer at way less than eight feet. The legal limit is eight foot six. And the simplicity of this system is uh, uh, way beyond what one would expect to find in a uh, in, in most uh, production folding multi-hulls, particularly the trimarans. John Marples, the designer, watch this thing fold, man. It's, it's so simple that anyone who has ever even built a birdhouse, maybe never built a birdhouse, can have a foldable swing wing trimaran for trailering and sailing. <laughs> so uh, I think it serves a, a, a lot of possibilities. It's the configuration of the hulls and then particularly the swing wing cross beams, the sea clipper, clipper swing wing, which uh, uh, John and I have developed for the, uh, for the whole series now. Almost the whole series of sea clippers comes with this feature of being able to fold it up easily for trailering with a, a component which is remarkably simple relative to the usual challenge of trying to fold a, a multi-hull or particularly a trimaran for, for trailering. Another great feature for the beach camper or for any multi-hull is this swing up rudder that John has designed that has a false transom that nests down in the, in the overhang from the hull panel so as to fit flush and the whole contraption swings up like so to reveal very robust, bust, very robust hinges here and here and the 
then when kicked up part way, such as when dragging the bottom through shallows, it can still steer. So that if the boat blunders into shoal water, the sailor can steer his way out. And uh, it turns out to be a very important feature for beach camping. Also, the rudder can be held up in a full up position for surf launching so that if a wave comes and throws the boat back, it doesn't damage the rudder. Very often, the owner builder finds that the expense of building the hulls is almost doubled by the expense of the mast, boom, sails, and rigging. And this boat is designed expressly to fit under the very popular Hobie 14 rig and sail plan. And uh, it has a very powerful sail, fully battened sail with a rotating mast and a roller furling jib. So that we have a, a real beach cat rig on this trimaran for developing power with more stability than would be available to the beach cat sailor. The Hobie 14 was a, uh, a, a great boat, personal watercraft, but it didn't have the power that this boat has because of the added beam and the size of the outrigger hulls. This, this boat can be driven very hard with this rig. And, uh, and so we, we expect it to have most of the speed of the Hobie 14 in light airs and greater speed in strong winds because it can be pushed so much harder than their usual beach cat. Armchair sailing, as I call it, <laughs> and looking out at the power that we have here and here, I'm quite excited about the sensations of day sailing, regular recreational sailing, particularly if one goes alone, simple rigging, one sits in a comfortable seat with good lumbar support and steers with his feet with foot pedals so that both hands are free. And uh, uh, we've, we've learned with other boats that that's a, that's a wonderful feature. Uh, you have both hands free for trimming the sails or doing anything else, making a sandwich, taking a picture. And uh, uh, the, uh, the, the result is that one can really relax and allow, allow the boat to take you on its own trip. That is, you're not constantly preoccupied with operating the vessel. You can sit here and relax and just watch her go. And I think maybe the, the best thing about it is that you're down low in the cockpit, much of your body out of the wind. You can't get thrown out of this thing. And you're not hanging out over the side and you don't have to change positions from one side of the boat to the other with every tack. So sailing becomes a different experience with this armchair sailing ergonomic. Uh, this cross beam and, and uh, AMA system makes it possible to, uh, to, to build this boat from plans. Even if one has never built a birdhouse before, the plans are sufficiently complete to, uh, and expressive to uh, make it possible for uh, an amateur builder uh, to really pop out this baby. Actually, this boat was not built by an amateur. <laughs> uh, John has built this for our friend, Mac McDivitt, and uh, he's about ready to take it home to Lake Champlain. And this one you could definitely use for serious beach camping. Uh, one or two people, if you didn't take too much weight, otherwise, two, it would carry two. And of course, for sailing around in, uh, in uh, just uh, recreational day sailing, uh, the, the boat will, will, uh, will very likely handle four. Uh, I really like the looks of this boat, although I must say I haven't had a chance to sail it yet. But if it sails anything like the 20-footer, we're going to really have something here.